Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel where I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you. Today my allergies are a little out of control so I will try my best not to sound so raspy. But I do have two fall DIYs that I absolutely love and had to share them with you. So if you'd like to join me, keep on watching and let's art today! Moving in right to our first DIY, we are going to be making a door wreath, but using a square wreath form this time. I start off by covering the whole wreath form using this burlap ribbon that I had for a while that I got at Walmart on the clearance section. I believe it was like 40 cents a roll. So I had picked up two and this is my last bit of it and I still didn't have enough to finish the end so I had to use a different ribbon also. I will be decorating this wreath form with some Dollar Tree floral and some pine cones that me and my family collected and I had some left over. I first start off by gluing down the fall leaves that Dollar Tree carries every year and I glue them sporadically and then I will be adding on the pine cones. I glue everything down using my hot glue gun and I make sure to add an abundance of hot glue for the pine cones. As you see here, after the pine cones are glued down, I'm adding that Dollar Tree floral all around and adding the stems as well and hot gluing everything down. After I glue on a couple more leaves, I'm going to glue on this foam pumpkin that I got at Dollar Tree right on top of the pine cones. I will be making a bow diagonally from the little area that we created below using some mesh ribbon and also ribbon from Dollar Tree as well. I make little loops in each of the ribbons and then I tie it all with jute string in the middle of the bows. And to be connecting everything to the wreath form, I'm just using that same jute twine in the middle of the bows and I tie it on to the back. Now I'm taking this pretty sparkly orange bow that Dollar Tree carries that has a little skull in the middle and I hot glued that down into the middle of the bow. And here's how it turned out. At first I was going to have it in this diamond shape but then I turned it over to its side so it looks like a square and I like it much better this way. This was really simple and easy to do. It maybe took me about 10 minutes and it just looks so great on my front entrance door. Okay, moving on to our second DIY. I am going to be using three of these Dollar Tree pumpkins that they sell every year. As you see here, two of them, a little crafter helped me paint some, but I'm going to be painting two of them black and one of them white using my acrylic paint. While the pumpkins are drying, I am going to be making over this little bucket that Dollar Tree also carries in their floral section. And I am going to be using these letters that I got at Michael's that were on sale for a dollar. And I'm just going to be spelling out the word pumpkins 75 cents. If you have missed any of my fall DIYs this year so far, don't you worry. I will leave a playlist here in the right hand corner for you and in the description box below. Be sure to check it out after watching this video. For the numbers for my 75 cents, I'm going to use this rub on transfers that dot. Dollar Tree carries in their crafter square sticker section and they work pretty awesome I must say. 
As you see here, I'm just trying to figure out which numbers I want to use. And while I try to figure that out, if you can please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Be sure to click on the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And I would love to have you here and be part of my virtual art family. Now that I figured out which numbers I want to use, I'm just lightly going to be rubbing them onto the bucket using a popsicle stick. So they do have a white backing that you need to remove and then you add the sticker on top of the bucket and you lightly rub it it with a finger or using a popsicle stick here be sure not to add too much pressure because you can damage the sticker and to make my little sense sign i'm just using the same stickers i used before that i got at michael's So that you see here the pumpkins are dry I am going to add a little bit of gold glitter to two of the stems using Mod Podge to glue everything in place. Now to assemble everything together. So I'm taking my bucket and I'm adding some rocks to the bottom of it. Then I will be taking some floral foam and stuffing it down nice and tightly so that everything can stay in place. I will then be inserting some skewers into the floral foam and then adding the pumpkins in a jaggered way i don't want them stacked i want them placed in different sections so that's what i'm doing here trying to find the best placement and then i insert the pumpkins onto the skewer i make sure i hot glue the ends of it so the pumpkins don't move so it's now time to add some decorations to my little pumpkin bucket. So I'm hot gluing some leaves together and then I will be hot gluing that down on the base of the pot. I also am adding back on the stems to the pumpkins. Two of them are gold and one of them is black and I'm just inserting it and hot gluing it down so it doesn't move. Now I'm just adding some pine cones to the pumpkins and to the base of the pot as well. Um, like I said before, I picked up these pine cones outside with my family. I do know Dollar Tree sells pine cones, but they're really small. But bigger stores carry pine cones as well if you cannot find pine cones where you live. I'm showing you here that I add a couple leaves to a skewer and I hot glue them down onto it. And I'm just adding more height and depth to insert inside of the pumpkins and also the pot as well. I do attach everything using my hot glue gun. It does melt the pumpkin just a little, but it does adhere everything nicely. And I'm just going to be continuing adding more leaves, pine cones, and greenery to all of the pumpkins until I get it to where I like.
And here's how this one turned out. My little pumpkin bucket for 75 cents. It is so adorable. It has to be my favorite DIY by far this year that I have made. I just love the pops of pine cones and the fall leaves and the little greenery here and there. I love how it can easily be transitioned into Halloween as well. I just love it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I always love to hear you guys ideas and critiques and you guys just make me so happy and help further grow my channel if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button i would love to have you here and a part of my virtual art family and as always i will see you in the next one